so as per our previous discussion if any column fail or if any rain record reinforcement are more than usual then you have to increase the column size so if you increase column size your record reinforcement will decrease now for beam we're seeing that here our record reinforcement or uh, our beam are going to fail so to solve that issue we have to check that for what reason our beam are failing so i'll right click on it and here i'm seeing that our failing are going for os45 so they have many types of failing mode like os5 os2 so the meaning of os2 means our required reinforcement are more than the allowable reinforcement so when you see the os2 as a signal i mean over stress 2 that means you have to go for your i mean you have to increase your section size then if you get a warning sign over stress 5 then what you will do over stress 5 means your columns are columns or member are failing due to critical loading effect that means your critical load are more than i mean your crit critical load are less than your applied at axial load so to solve that also you have to increase your column section because uh, we know that it's totally okay because we, we cannot change our load from building we can also only change our column section so we have to do it and again after that we have to go for our next step for overstress 45 so what is the meaning of overstress 45 overstress 45 means our beam are failing if we go for diagram or something else so we are uh, i'll just close it and i'll go for details and here we're seeing that due to a stress share stress due to share force and torsion together exist minimum allowed it. that means our beam are failing for share force and torsion to solve that what we have to do we have to increase our section so i'm going to increase our section so to do that i'll select all of that beam section i'll uncheck it and for one i'll take it here 12 into 18 12 into 18 so i'll go here assign then frame then section properties and from here 12 into 21 i'll consider that so i'll click apply okay when it's done now i'll again i'll just click here show all objects and here i'll go for run analysis after analysis same way we'll go for start design check so when the process of design are okay now we'll go here and we'll click verify all member passed so here again we are seeing that 14 concrete frame failed the design check then i'll select yes and again i will click here show selected object only and here we're seeing that only two member have passed and our six member are still failing so if i right click here and in overrides if i stop considering torsion then what's happen actually so you're seeing that when we are considering uh we're not considering torsion then our beam are failing so what we'll do actually for that case we have considered a beam size like uh 12 into 21 inch even it's failing why it's failing naturally here we're seeing that from that beam load are transferring to that column that beam 
okay and from that beam load are transferring to that beam so uh, as uh, this beam are taking huge load for that our that uh, beam are failing so what we can do that for that two beams we can increase our beam depth more or we can replace that column section with shadow okay so it will be better around lift it's better to use shadow to make our model or a structure more stable so uh, again i'll select all of that i'll unlock and i'll go assign frame and for this beam i will provide torsion as a zero value and this one 0 0.35 and this one 0 0.35 apply because uh we are providing torsion here as a zero value and uh in other case we're considering our structure i mean uh, all of our structure are taking our values from torsion okay and um, as here some little i mean the little number of beam are failing so we can ignore its torsion and the torsion develop on this beam will transfer to our other beam other columns and other slabs so again i'll go for i'll just click here show all object again i'll go for run analysis now again after uh, completing our design process i'll go here and i will check it this very all member passed so just see now all concrete frame passed the design check so finally we have passed all of our member okay now one by one we'll go for design discussion okay so first of all we'll go for column then we'll go for beam then we'll go for slab okay and uh, in this way we'll uh, complete our design process